hi friends welcome once again in my channel where you can learn MIS complete course once Excel and VBA in previous video we had learned about count ifs using function there is multiple criteria you can see you if you if anyone not check my last video count ifs then you can check my YouTube channel okay now we will learn this using macros as I told you we will everything is same we have multiple criteria and we have to done this task using macros let's start without wasting any time i am writing my code some macro count ifs using vba firstly we have to declare variable dim i as in teaser and we have to uh, there is multiple criteria and we have to define multiple variables dim my range as range just copy it and change the variable name my range 1 and 2 now we have to set my range in this variables my range equal to range even friends you can freeze this for better understanding set my range 1 and 2 here is I'm giving changing range you can check here now this time to create loop for i is equal to um, 3 2 6 because we have 4 row and we have to running loop 3 to 6 times next and enter in the formula we want result i comma 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in 10th column worksheet function dot uh, worksheet function dot count ifs my range well, already we have set range so we can, we can take my range rng comma first is i comma criteria is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 first is 8th back it close second criteria is my range 1 and criteria is i comma 9 third is my range we have already set already range in my range as a variables my range <coughs> my range 2 and now my third criteria is Mm, my third criteria is greater than 33 then I can mention as greater than 33 fine ok uh, let's run the code currently an answer is blank let's run run answer is here 406041 and same answer 406041 we have calculated this function and same thing we have done using macro friend this is very important let's go through the code here your code what we have done <coughs> here firstly i have declared a variable dim integer which i will use for i2 3 to 6 and second thing we have to declare my range a a b b c c a a b b c c a column b column c column same thing my range we have to declare first variable my range my range 1 2 my range 2 and in this my range we have to store a column my range 1 b column my range 2 c column then and execute the formula just using formula you can check here guys please check here and let me know if you have any queries for more information please touch with me and for more videos please subscribe thanks for watching